Alright guys, so uh, for today we're going to take a look at how to animate a character in Blender. I've done this short over here and um, I leave the link down below. So let's get into it. So as you can see this is the building that I have done. I leave the full uh, video down below as well. Alright so uh, this character if you're interested on where did I model it. Well I'm just gonna go over here. This is Vroid Studio and uh, it basically gives you like pre-made like female or male character and so what you have to do is like color um, her clothes and also create her hair and everything uh, this is a character from uh, my anime world beast 5 question mark rc world edition uh, which means it, there's already a uh, anim 3g animated scene that i have done not on this channel uh, on my other channel hw road beasts and so I'll leave the uh, link to that down below. But today I want to show you more about how to import, you know, your 3G character into Blender. This is more the upgraded version of uh, the same character. And as you can see, the uh, hair is more clean and everything, but I'm not going to get into that a lot. So I go, I mean, you do your thing, create the hair. Uh, body editor, face editor for the eyes and everything. You go to Amer camera export. You go over here export, and then you click here. And so you name it like Marwa. Mm, Marwa again, and then you save it uh, somewhere here. Like for me, I have. Uh, Vroid avatars and so when you when you actually wait and you want to make sure to do dot glb and this is uh, a type of file that is dedicated just for objects you know and uh, you hit save in this case I'm not gonna save it because uh, I already have uh, my version on blender and then you close this open here and then you simply file import GL, glb you see here glb is uh Marwa. there you go so this is the one that i just imported hit s to scale and boom there you go so uh right now i'm not gonna focus about that because i really have uh Marwa, you know on the scene but to actually animate it you click on her right go to object mode and then there is the pose mode so I do want to mention the keyframes so we don't know what are keyframes so keyframes are basically like uh, markers that you set up each time on the timeline so that it captures like um, the pose that you have edited like let's say for example hold on let me delete everything Oops. As you can see, I've lit one keyframe so that it actually um, initiates animation scene. But here's a fact. Uh, let's say, for example, I get to frame 10 and then I did like that. And so right now it creates automatically a keyframe telling that, oh, this is A this is point B and then and so point B is here and point A is here but basically each point has its own marker you know and between keyframes it creates animation when you do stop motion well stop motion is works the same thing except that you're working in real life so you have to kind of edit uh, your puppet with your own hands while here it's in blender you know but yeah let's say for example here I want it to be like this you know to do that for some reason oops there we go 
and uh, tada you see and yeah you can animate uh, differently the way you want so this is all the keyframes that I had control Z control Z control Z come on there you go so these are the all the keyframes that I had obviously I'm still learning on how to animate but uh, if you go to the uh, my other channel over here I highly suggest you watch uh, yeah this one over here I'll link to that down below it's a really funny scene so yeah she comes here and then she actually uh, go downstairs so I'm not I don't really know how to do like perfect um, you know animation for a character that goes downstairs because obviously uh, Viroid characters are really really limited when it comes to animation you know why simply because of that <laughs> so this is weird but normally the uh, actual uh, rigging armatures they're like uh, they can't like detach from other bones so I don't know I've tried to delete everything and then uh, bring like a simple armature created by default by blender oh, not this one sorry ah shift a actually I forgot where but yeah all to tell you that um, I mean it does its job but if you want to go like crazy you can just you know model your own character it's better <laughs> so yeah oops uh, hopefully this is it that was a quick video about animation and also how to import Viroid characters to blender I hope you enjoyed and uh, like this small video obviously I'm still learning so uh, if you subscribe that will be really nice for both of us uh, you know on the same journey to learn how to animate properly and everything so this is it take care and I'll link everything down below see ya